In this video, we will be seeing the preventive maintenance of cath lab featuring Philips Allura FG10. Major steps of PMS of cath lab. First, the physical inspection. Second, movement check, table, CM, etc. Plus the keypads, the control movements of keypad, whether the movements of the keypads are giving the correct movements or not. Third, putting the machine in service mode. Fourth, tubule calibration. Fifth, radiation checking. Sixth, calibration of entrance dose rate. Seventh, performance test. Eighth, coolant checking. Nine, functional testing before handover. So let's see the cat lab. Firstly, we will be doing the physical inspection, followed by movement checking. We will move the C arm in all the positions which we can. We will be also checking the buttons, commands and correlation with the movement. So how much buttons we are moving and what are the different movements that the C arm is giving. We will be saying whether the detector, whether the exit tube, the exit tube is just opposite to the detector and the C arm, there is the exit tube, then the C arm complete visual inspection whether anything is faulty or anything has a problem. So all things are inspected. This is the flat panel detector. So need to observe this also carefully. This is the keypad commands in the right. You can see the display. It's touch screen display. Inspection of the table, complete table inspection, whether everything is right. Then we move to console room where we put the machine in the service mode. Then we start the tube yield calibration. We apply shielding on the detector and pass the x-rays. Then you can see in different quadrants, we try to get the images. Substance with higher atomic numbers are in black. Now doing the same in different quadrants and checking the tube yield calibration. We are just shifting the positions and checking the readings. We measure the distance between detector and the x ray tube, whether it is the same or not. Then, the radiation checking. We check the values on the dosimeter and feed those values on the system. There are different values that are given. So on setting this value, how much reading we are getting on the dosimeter. So we note down those readings on the dosimeter from the dosimeter and put that readings on the system. Now we will be doing the calibration of entrance dose rate. In calibration of entrance dose rate, we will mimic the patient. We will be putting a copper 1.5 mm thick sheet on the x-ray tube. It will be mimic as a patient. So this 1.5 mm of copper mimics the body. So at different radiations, we check the values. Now the machine will check the output input. After that, we will be doing the performance test where another filter is placed on the X-ray tube. We can see the filter placed on the X-ray tube. After this, we will be checking the coolant, the coolant level in the system and also all the parts. And uh, if the coolant level is low, we need to refill it. The coolant is refilled. After a thorough check, the machine is handed over to the healthcare staff.